guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here. Welcome to another episode of the Journey Career Moment in FIFA 19 with Atletico still approaching the end of this season. And I've had a bit of an epiphany. I, I know what I need to do now for the rest of this season, and that is just focusing on Europa League. Because we know, if you've been following the series, where we're at in the, uh, in the La Liga. We have been completely and utterly dominant. And now we have a 13 point lead over second place Barcelona. There are still about 12 or so games left to play, but you look at the results that we have had, there is almost no chance we bottle it from here. And if we do, I'll pretty much pack it up and quit the fucking career mode right here and now because that is unforgivable if we don't win La Liga from here. So for now, honestly guys, I'm pretty much just focusing on Europa League. We have already played one leg in the round of 16 against PSV. We won it 1-0. So I pretty much just want to play all the uh, Europa League second legs all the way up to the final. Maybe we play both legs if we get to the semi, depending on who we get, I don't know. And yes, I will play some La Liga games if they're really big games against big opposition. For now, it is just full focus on the Europa League and making sure we get through. We'll individually sim each La Liga game to make sure it's going the way that we want it to. But for now, it is just all Europa League. We will play the second leg now against PSV. We've had some big wins against PSV in my time back at Ajax. Hoping to do the same again against uh, or with Atletico. And fuck, I think we've already even played PSV with Atletico before. And we've had some wins against them as well. So honestly... If it were to continue, that would be beautiful. We took care of business simming the first leg and getting the right result. Not a huge advantage that we have, just the 1-0 lead. And they, of course, are the away side. So if they get one goal, that eliminates our away goal. Opens up the door for them to maybe pull off some shenanigans. Let's just not let it happen. And there are still some damn good teams in the Europa League that we could go on and get. So, having to be careful. All right, well, let's get it kicked off the second leg in the round of 16. This team, which surely should do damage in the Champions League, I intend to go the whole way with this season in the Europa League. And decently worked anyway to Thomas Lamar. The step overs created some space. The save and that bounce was not kind for me at all. I had so many players there, but it just did not find one of mine. Missed that tackle. Oh, huge gaps here. What a fucking block. Kevin Mbappé absolutely crucially got in the way of that one. Well, cross. Wow! Wow! How didn't you get at least in the way of that? I was expecting him to win the pass. Didn't happen. Cross came in. It is fucking perfect and 1-1. One, one. Just like that on aggregate. Look at this. It's floating up there. Lucas Hernandez doesn't even get in the way of it. And that cross is fucking perfect. How did any of that, how was any of that allowed to happen? Cross comes in, headed away. Yes, Lucas Hernandez, good. Rodri, pass is, oh my fucking God! Everyone in this team right now is playing like absolute trash. Past the two minute mark, well past the two minute mark. It's picked off, it's in the way again, it's blocked. They'll get a corner now that we're approaching the fourth fucking minute as well. We're just gonna have to clear this away and end this absolute fucking disastrous, fucking disastrous. Second half, it's got to be over now, referee, thank you. I mean, first half, I said. I think I said second. That was absolutely atrocious. Fucking so much better second half needed. That was actually quite fortunate. It went through the legs there. Coque, pass off, shot, blocked, shot again, off the woodwork. It's not happening for me in this game. I'm fit, oh God, I've not been great, but fuck me sometimes, it's a bit suspect. What a block. Look where it goes. Look where it goes again. And then off another one and out for a corner. They will get a billion. They're just ha getting handed opportunities. They're getting the bounces. They're getting the corners. Little toe poke to stop that shot getting through and challenging the keeper. Stepovers came very late there. Maybe there is a bit of an issue going on right now. Because I felt like I wanted to do those stepovers for fucking... Like, half a second ago, and of course you get beat to the fucking ball. It is Herving Lozano, that's maybe understandable. I might actually give this a go with Thomas Lamar, and I'm just going to fucking hope that maybe there is a, even half a chance my man can get it up and over the wall. Skimmed the crossbar. He has 89 curve and about 80 shot power. Where was the bend back on this? There was no dip on it whatsoever. You just don't fucking get goals like this anymore. 
Man, I can't wait for FIFA 20's new free kick system. That actually looks like you might be able to do something with it. There's that overlapping run. Good stuff from Lucas Hernandez. Nice to see. I can see some space in the middle. It's a decent delivery. It is a brilliant delivery. Lucas Hernandez makes up for it with a peach of a ball for Koke, who heads home, makes it 2-1. Now we just have to hang on. This absolute disastrous, awful fucking game for us. What a cross from Lucas Hernandez. Thought it was going to get picked off. Maybe there's some fault on the defender there because he surely should have gotten something on it there. But Koke got the header and we are through surely to the quarters. We just need to hold on. You know what's going to happen if they score a goal. It will be 2-2 on aggregate, but they go through with away goals. Don't fucking let it. Three minutes of stoppage time. I'm just trying to keep players in the fucking way here. Making sure the back four is set. Oh, and the shot goes wide. Wow. A chance. There it came. Not really marked all too well, but the shot does go wide, and that is a fucking... Oh, I got away with that. I'm going to play this one smart, you know. We are just going to pass this one around. I didn't even think I would finish this thing in 90 minutes. I thought we were destined for extra time. Oh, fuck. They would have gone and gotten that late goal that would have seen them through, but... It wasn't the case. Oh, right at the end, Koke saves our fucking bacon. And it is Lucas Hernandez who I still hold at fault for the original goal that they got. But he makes up for it. So all is forgiven. And we go through to the quarters of the Europa League. Thank fuck for that. Anyway, we now see who else has gone through. RB Leipzig is through. Valencia, another La Liga team, has gone through. We have Fiorentina. Beating Bayern Munich on away goals 2-2 the aggregate score. That is crazy to see. We got Schalke going through. Lazio's gone through. Napoli beat Lille on away goals. And it also looks like Feyenoord have knocked out Leicester City. Some damn dangerous teams that has it has to be said that are in there. Uh, and some that I'm really hoping I can avoid until the latest stages of the Europa League. Anyway, with that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to take this opportunity to go through and sign two players from my U squad. As you can see, there's a few players in here now, and I wanted to go and get Fabio Ribeiro out of the U squad. If you don't remember this, like I do with every single new club I join, I scout a future star. We have already got Justice Wagner, the German centre back. We scouted him with Atlanta. I also set, uh, scouted one with Ajax, but. By the time we left Ajax, he was still 15 years of age in the youth squad, and I never got to promote him. So we may never, ever see him, Cedric LaCroix. He, he, I don't know. He may pop up one day, but this man I want to call up straight away right now. Fabio Ribeiro, a, a Brazilian defender, a Brazilian centre-back who looks like he could be quality. Look at that potential. Max 94, minimum 87. So his potential has got to be knocking on the door of 90. Overall at 62. All right, fine. We'll train him up. Get him up to a good overall. So yeah, I'm going to make him my uh, first, not only signing out of the youth squad today though. Because the other one is going to be Esteban Fuentes. He is a 64 overall striker. Not as highly valued, even though he's at an attacking position. So that is interesting. But uh, maybe it means he's got a slightly less potential, despite the fact that it says he's got 88, 94 potential bracket. But this man... A high quality, high potential Spanish striker. We could be looking at the next Fernando Torres here. I think it would be accurate to almost call him. I think David Villa is the best uh, Spanish striker of all time ever. But since we're doing uh, Atletico Madrid, maybe Fernando Torres is more accurate. I don't know. But still, we are going to promote him to the senior team as well. Two players to keep your eye on there. So Fuentes is in there and so is Ribeiro. Uh, Ribier uh, I'm saying Ribeiro, that might be wrong. Ribeiro is, or Ribeiro might be more accurate. Not Ribeiro, my apologies. I, I don't know, but still, you can see he's got um, strength, a little bit of pace for a centre-back as well. Good to see, plenty of aggression. Skill attributes could do with some uh, work, but he's a centre-back that can also play at left-back. So I called uh, Esteban Fuentes, our new Spanish striker with the super high potential, the next Fernando Torres, David Villa. Would it be accurate to say if he can also play at left back this lad, the next, I don't know. There are some class Brazilian centre backs, aren't there? Like, you know, you've got uh, Thiago Silva, you've got Lucio, for example. And 
but all the best Brazilian defenders of all, you know, you can traditionally been like fullbacks, haven't they? Like Roberto Carlos. Is this man, hey, a left back, is this man the new Roberto Carlos, man? I don't know. Regardless, we've signed some super high potential players and I'm very excited to see how they go on. And take a look, take a look at Fabio Ribeiro. He's got a bit of, uh, he's got a bit of quality going on in that face, you know? A little bit like Justice Wagner, you know? He actually looks like, yeah, there's some detail in that face. That's not bad at all. Esteban Fuentes, okay, maybe not so much, but still, fucking hell. We'll get on with some uh, La Liga games pretty shortly, but uh, before we do, I want to see who we've drawn in the quarterfinals. Sim the first leg of it, depending on who we get. Feyenoord, we get another Dutch team. All right, and it's the home leg first, which is great. So we sim that first, play the second leg away. That is how I like it anyway, but still, getting on with the next La Liga game in, uh, the, in La Liga against Levante, skipping ahead, 1-0 win. Justice Wagner, another scouted future star. Can't wait for Wagner and Ribeiro to be alongside each other. That's going to be sick. Hopefully it'll happen soon, but a simple 1-0 win. We go straight from that to another La Liga game against Villarreal, and then five days later we have another game. My goodness, but I'm hoping we could really seal the La Liga title very shortly. Although this time we simulate an away game, which is always concerning. But just as Wagner's got, oh my god, goals in back-to-back -back games! The man's fucking killing it! Richarlison a 2-1 win in the end. Richarlison actually saved our bacon, sort of, with a late goal in the 79th minute. But three, oh my god, uh, three goals in that one. We get another three points. And Justice Wagner with goals in back-to-back -back games. From bloody centre back. He's only made a handful of appearances, and yet, bang, two goals. Can we get three in a row from you? Let's see, one more home game in La Liga. We're coming close to the first leg in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Skipping ahead. Not this time. We don't get a goal from Justice Wagner. The streak comes to an end. You can barely call it a streak. It was just two in a row. But Martins again. We're just, we're just, yeah, at the moment, we're just getting it done with one goal victories. That's it. And Rodri picking up a double yellow card, so he won't play the next game in the league either. But look, with nine games to go, it's a 17-point gap. It's done, it's finished. We're winning La Liga. I don't even, I'm not even going to bother playing a game in La Liga this for the rest of the season, except for the game where we lift up the trophy, because it's fucking done. In fact, if you don't mind me, I'm just simming ahead to the first leg of the quarterfinals. Can we set ourselves up well for the second leg in the quarterfinals? I'm skipping ahead. Nothing. Zilchnada, nil-nil. Well... That's a good thing and a bad thing, because even though we don't take an advantage, we don't let Feyenoord get any away goals against us. But it's a shame that we couldn't have picked up any advantage whatsoever in that first leg. We're going to have to do it all ourselves in the second. But at least then, we get one goal, one goal, one away goal, and that really tips things in, uh, it tips things in our favour. And moving straight on ahead to the second leg, I will once again play this with my best team, and this game here against Ibar could honestly be a game where we seal the title. So, I don't know. We might even seal the title against Real Madrid. How about that? But into the second leg of the quarters we go. The only change in the team, Justice Wagner replacing Cal Caldara, who is still a little bit injured and a little bit tired. So I'm going to throw Justice Wagner in as a precaution. Caldara's on the bench, though. So if one of my centre-backs is having a shocker, they can he I'll chuck him in. I don't care. Carson Park also returns in this game as well. Let's go. For the semi-finals of the Europa League, we must defeat Feyenoord or at least get an away goal and draw on aggregate. And once again, we find ourselves back in the Netherlands. I can't get out of here, can I? I just play Dutch teams constantly, even when I've gone to Atletico. But the team is slightly Different. Danilo up top at striker, Vermin, and a few other names that maybe I didn't recognize from my days with Ajax. But come on, lads, we need a, a much, much better game than we uh, had against PSV. And just one goal. Just tie this thing up, get one goal. That's all we need. I think I've timed that brilliantly. Oh, this could be an amazing start. It could be, but he's taken out in the box, and that is going to be a penalty. I, I don't know. I, I'll, I, you know, I was saying, should I take that? But I probably will now that I've only realized it actually results in a red card. Horror start for Feyenoord. I thought he was going to win that ball clean, to be fair. I thought Griezmann genuinely was not going to get that shot off. They're already forced into a substitution. It's a horrible start, but a great one for us. And Griezmann, mate, you couldn't score the one-on-one. -on -one. You got... 
Oh my god, the fucking thing is saved. Griezmann, you useless prick. You are really not converting the goals in the in the fucking manner I thought you would for me. Oh, that could... Oh! Deflection! Rebound! And there's the goal! We do get it early. Uh, we do at least get one early. We thought it would come through the penalty, but it didn't quite turn out that way. A shot deflected came off the fucking woodwork, but Jelson Martins was there. Look, I was hoping this would be a brilliant start, but a good block by the defender that they actually subbed on for their striker, and Martins was there to tap home the rebound. There's the away goal. They're down to 10 men. It's perfectly set up for us. Gonna have to reset once again. But, oh, in the end, it's taken with his left fucking foot and not his right. Is anything going to go the way I actually am planning on it fucking happening in this game? There's the cross. Carson Park, the header, finds Griezmann absolutely perfectly. A ball over the top. We could go quick here. Could go indeed. Richarlison away. Left peg, right peg. It's every opp... It's all... It's never the fucking foot I want to shoot with. Ever. Ever. Heavy touch. Griezmann. Richarlison. Decent footwork. De Jong. Oh, there's space there now. Martin shot. Woodwork. Is he going to get another one? Oh, no. This time he misses the fucking target. We have got to have gotten more than just the one goal today. This is ridiculous. Going very quick indeed. Look at the... Oh. Fortunate. And the save. It's just nothing. No one attack is going as straightforward and as simply as it could be here. Like, fucking, what is that bouncing around shenanigans? And the Emperor Charleston gets a good shot off, you know. That has to force a decent save from their keeper. Come on, grab that, grab that, grab it, please. Oh, referee. He's completely clattered Old Black in the air, but it's 1-0 at the moment. We have, it's basically a two-goal advantage because, or is it? Uh, I guess you can't really say that. Because, yeah, if, maybe it is. Because if they get a goal tied up at 1-1, we're still going through with the away goal advantage, but... I don't know. I For that first half, the way it went, we should have been up by more than just one. Good play, that. Very, not a fucking chance! You've got to be kidding me! This is pathetic! How is this still one fucking nil? I don't believe it. Yes! Finally! Even that was a little awkward and not really going to the man I was intending to pass to. But we finally make one fucking move stick and not have to rely on some sort of fortunate bounce. I was actually looking to just put this ahead for Frankie de Jong. And even that shot by Griezmann is pretty much straight at the keeper. Fuck, it's even saved by the goalkeeper. A little foot on it, but not enough. 2-0, finally, we can kill this game off. Nice to time this. Still saved by the keeper. Man, I have created a fucking billion chances in this game. And yeah, them being down to 10 men has helped. Look at Griezmann. You're in the fucking way. You're such a fucking... He's... I don't know. He's just... You wouldn't expect Griezmann to be shit. But he just is fucking shit. And getting in the way and being a new... I... I... I don't know. Even when he scores, he's had a bad game. It's hard to describe. Can we get this third? It doesn't switch to him. Whatever. Game's done. We've taken care of business. But, I don't know. It's still not the strongest of performances, really. We got fortunate with a player getting sent off straight away. But, yeah. Alright. Done that one. We've just done taking care of business there. Seen ourselves through to the semi-finals of the Europa League. And I am uh, I'm optimistic. We, we could be on our way. Oh my god, and look at it, 20 fucking shots for the game, 10 on target. We still had less possession, but we didn't let them have a single attempt on our goal. That's not bad. Says Greece, we got a 9.3. I don't even fucking understand how that is possible. The winners in the quarterfinals were Valencia. So we could have a La Liga semi, maybe even a La Liga final. We got Fiorentina beating Leipzig. Napoli have beaten Schalke. So... Some teams, Napoli, Fiorentina, Valencia. Honestly, I can't complain with whoever I get there. I won't really be happy or, or you know, unhappy with any of the teams that we get. Let's see. Valencia, 
Fiorentina or Napoli, it is going to be Valencia. So the two Italian teams face off against one another in the semis, and the two La Liga teams face off against each other in the semis. There will be no all-Italian, all-Spanish final. We now have Ibar in La Liga, we're the away side, hoping that we can still get a win, because if we do, which we do, this maybe could be the goal or the game that could have decided La Liga for us. If Barcelona draw their next game, we have won La Liga. If they win, then we will seal the title with a victory in the next game, who, by the way, it happens to be the Madrid derby. It's in three days. We'll advance ahead. We'll see. Barcelona have played and they have won. So even though we have... There's only 15 more points left on offer for Barcelona, and we have a 15-point lead ahead of them. Really, we could... It's basically done and dusted now, but it's not mathematically done. We win this game against Real Madrid, we're La Liga champions. It actually says here that we've already won La Liga, but technically, yes, we have. But it's just down to goal difference, which I'm sure we've got a significant goal difference over Barca. But we are making it clear-cut on points with a win against Madrid. Well, in that case, let's go out and let's get it done. Let's seal this, absolutely seal this La Liga title. I've got a little situation with a few of my players. My main starting 11 player is quite tired, so I've rotated a fair bit. We've got Mbappé starting, Wagner starting, Koke starting, Dembele starting. It's, <coughs> yeah. And even some of the players that I've got starting already, like Thomas Lamar, for example, he is right down to like almost a half to two thirds of his stamina. So we've got to be careful with him as well. But that is the team I'm putting out there to start. Some good players, starting 11 players on the bench with, you know, about half to two thirds of their stamina as well. But Hopefully we won't need to call upon him. We can get this win against Real Madrid and seal the La Liga title. Even a point really gets it done for us. So then our rivals, Real Madrid, will try to do their utmost to stop us from winning the league against them, from confirming it. But hopefully we get it done today. Hopefully we see ourselves lifting up La Liga trophy. You see it there, our 15 point gap on Barcelona. And really, Real Madrid right now, for them, their season boils down to just trying to finish ahead of their, uh, you would have to say, this is the local rivalry, but their real rivals, Barcelona. They're just trying to stick ahead of them. Real Madrid looking like this in the huge potential title deciding game. Klosterman, Varane, Stones and Bellerin. That back four is interesting. Sol, Lorente and Ceballos, or Ceballos. We've got Asensio, Marino, and Odegaard, their front three. I remember that front three. They had a weird one the last time we played them. The last time, by the way, we played them, it finished something like 7-0. It was a huge victory. I can't see that happening again. Surely not. Not with our starting 11 pretty tired. Not with our, some of our main players pretty out of the game. But we'll still go for a win regardless. Will we get it? Straight away! Oh, maybe it is going to be another big day! I know this man had a big game against them. Moussa Dembele scores early. One hand on the title already. We pretty much already had one hand on the title going into it. But we're about to make our move to put all two of them on. Moussa Dembele. Oh, he had a blinder against Real Madrid in his last game against them. Played and made a few other appearances in between then, but he just loves playing against this mob, doesn't he? What a start. What a fucking start. Come on. Eventually, the ball is taken off him, and we're going to go quick. We're going to go very, very, very quick. Lamar, he is very quick. Lamar saved. Oh, my one-on-one -on -one finishing today has been a fucking pulling. Oh, they've moved out of his way. Oh, what a gift. Lamar held the ball up. The defender in front of him got out of his way. It's as simple as that. And it's as simple as 2-0 Atletico Madrid. Can you believe it? A little pass in there with Lamar surrounded, but still with space. Varane got out of his way. Just simply put, maybe got his uh, got things mixed up. It was like, nah, it, Lamar's not the man I need to stay in front of right now. Oh my god, and I've shot and scored on a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm fucking over the moon. It's got to be our day when that's happening. It's got to be our title. Cross is a deep one. Oh, Mbabu. Oh, Mbabu, you're fucking kidding me. 
Oh, pathetic. They only get goals against me so many di in so many different ways. With crosses coming in, and then I go to clear a ball and it goes right to one of theirs. Let, let me see. Let's see. The clearance from Mbappu, it's right to fucking Saul Niguez. Unreal. One of my former players has scored against me, and it's a very nice volley, but will they ever just clear the ball and find anyone that... Like, just find some space. Don't even have to head it to one of my players. It's always to fucking one of theirs. Oh, there it is. There it is. That pressure has worked. Has it? Has it worked? Rebound? Yes, it has! Very fortunate. 3-1. A kind little bounce for Griezmann. It's been going both ways, really, hasn't it? Fuck. Oh, fucking Real Madrid get the bounces, then we get the bounces. 3-1. Once again, our two-goal lead restored. I noticed, too, by the way, it popped up real quick. That's his 15th goal in La Liga. So, Antoine Griezmann having a good season numbers-wise, but when I play with him, I just... I don't know. To be fair, I've still scored a goal with him almost every single time in this in this episode, and apparently I haven't been playing well with him. But he has been all right now. Koke. Trying to get an accelerated fake shot to create space. Didn't happen, and that's half-time. 3-1, looking good. Even if we don't go on to get the win from this position, if we draw the game, it's still the title. Let's get it done, boys. 45 minutes left to go. Lamar, left side. Keep running hard. Give him some support. Slide tackle. Missed that one. Rodri, Griezmann. Horrid, ha, oh, horrid touch. Falls to Dembele. Can we get it back to Dembele? He still won't get a shot. Look at fucking this. Griezmann, low cross. Oh, my God. It didn't even pick out the right player. My goodness. Off one step. Just trying to get it moving, you know. Wrong move. Oh, by Koke. Rodri. Waited for the defender to commit. Oh, he's going to be offside, though. Won't count. Oh, what a hit from Griezmann. I, I keep going on about, oh, he's no good. I don't play well with him. He's got three goals in his last two games. I played with him. That is the best of the bunch. Pulled the trigger, didn't really expect, like, I tried to play the pass, it was picked off by Varane, Griezmann went and got it back. This hit is absolutely glorious. I haven't been able to get a connection like this for like the entire episode, yet he's pulled it out to seal this game. Fucking yes, my lord Griezmann, that is absolutely brilliant to see. Glorious stuff. We have time for one more goal, but I don't think we're going to get it. Not with shit passing like that, fucking Griezmann. I tell you what, you do get goals for me, but man, you can be shit at times as well. I, I'm willing to put it aside for now, though, because we are on our way, and that is that! La Liga has been won by Atletico Madrid. It is done and dusted. Thank you for coming, Real Madrid. Thank you for coming, Barcelona. But in the end, we have sealed this title with, like, four or five games left to spare. How about it? In my first season in Spain, we are going to hopefully not just win this La Liga title, but win the Europa League as well in the next episode. Hey, we could go back to back in La Liga, and the Champions League is beckoning next season for us as well. So get it. Jan All Black will have the honours as well of lifting up the trophy. This team that I inherited was absolutely brilliant from day one. I've made my little tweaks, but here we are. It is still very much the same Atletico Madrid side that I took over from the start. We have bought these. We have got these boys all the way to this podium and to this stage. The La Liga champions. Well done, lads. Absolutely exquisite job all season long. I've won a title in Australia. I've won a title in the United States. I've won a title in Amsterdam and in the Netherlands. Now we have won a title in Spain. This, this is my greatest accomplishment, I would damn say. I made a Champions League final with Ajax. This is it right here. This is the biggest title of my career so far. Hell yeah, boys. I'm just making a handful of changes really quickly to, to, the, to the drills and stuff. We've got Soki still getting drills. We've got Esteban Fuentes. My next, Fernando Torres slash David Villa. We have got Fabio Ribeiro getting two centre-back drills as well. And so too, Justice Wagner. So 
These are going to be the draws that we'll continue with. Ribeiro's already gone up to a 63, although that does not surprise me. I'm just advancing ahead to the first leg against Valencia really quick. We'll see what the game between... Yeah, we did get a win against Getafe, so the 100 points is still on, but we're just focusing on the Europa League. Be sure to tune in to the next episode where we will more than likely finish up this first season with Atletico. Hopefully win one more title as well, the Europa League. We will see. Till the next episode, my name's Masterbucks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good one.